Hello everyone, my name is Lisa and this is Bookbug and we are here today to do a video Bookbug for you. I normally work at Alloway Library, some of you have been coming in to see our Bookbugs now that they've started back, um, but we're still doing ones online for those of you who can't make it. Um, so you might have noticed my snazzy pig hat. Today I'm going to do a slightly piggy theme book bug for you. So I'll be featuring some piggy rhymes and piggy songs and piggy actions and I hope you enjoy them. So without further ado, I think we will sing our hello song. Are we ready? One, two, three. Hello everyone, hello everyone. Glad that you could come. I, 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 I am glad that you could come. So hello from me, a hello from Bookbug. Hello children, hello grown-ups. Let's get ready to have some fun. Okay, now I know you don't normally like my jokes because they're a bit corny, but I thought I'd try with a piggy one today. Should we, should we go for it, Bookbug? Okay, right. Wait for it. Where do piglets keep their pocket money? Do you know? Says he doesn't. Okay. You'll like this. Piglets keep their pocket money in a piggy bank. Oh, he's not impressed. Maybe my next joke will go down better. Right, I think we'll get started. We will get started with a little tickle to get us warmed up. So we'll do one that you probably all know, it's called Cross Cross. I'll do everything a couple of times in case you don't know them. Um, if you have a smaller baby, you might want to hold them so that they can see your face while you're talking to them and seeing the rhyme. An older child or toddler will probably enjoy facing away from you or standing up. Okay, we're ready. One, two, three. Cross, cross. Line, line, spiders crawling up your spine, pull breeze, tight squeeze, now you've got the shivers. That was so much fun, my hat was slipping. I have to watch out for that. Shall we do it again? Okay, are we ready? One, two, three. Cross, cross, line, line, spiders crawling up your spine. Cool breeze, tight squeeze. Now you've got the shivers. That's always a good one to start with, isn't it? <clears throat> now, piggy hat, I think we'll have our first piggy rhyme. We will do this little piggy. Okay, we shall start by using the right hand. Ready? It looks like the left hand in reverse, but see how it goes. Okay, one, two, three. This little piggy went to market. This little piggy stayed at home. This little piggy had roast beef. And this little piggy had none. And this little piggy went wee, 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 all the way home. We ready for the other hand? Okay, one, two, three. This little piggy went to market. This little piggy stayed at home. This little piggy had roast beef. And this little piggy had none. And this little piggy went wee, 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 all the way home. Okay. I can see this hat slipping again. This is getting a better laugh than my joke actually did, but not to worry. Right. Shall we have a bit of a bounce? Are we ready for some mother and father and Uncle John? Ready? One, two, three. Mother and father and Uncle John went to the market one by one. Mother fell off. Father fell off. But Uncle John went on and on and on and on and on and on and on. Right, we'll do that again. Ready? One, two, three. Mother and father and Uncle John went to the market one by one. Mother fell off and father fell off and Uncle John went on and on and on and on and on and on and on. Well done, book bug. That was a lot of jiggling. Okay. I 
think they have a little song. And this is quite an old fashioned rhyme. Some of the grown ups might remember it. And I don't think we'll get any pigs in it, but the pigs are coming soon enough. But we have a cat in it, a cow, and a little dog. A very little dog. It's called He Diddle Diddle. And it goes. He diddle diddle the cat and the fiddle, the cow jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed, ha ha ha, to see such fun, and the dish ran away with the spoon. The cat and the cow look very alike, don't they? They're both nice and black and white and furry. Alright, shall we do that again? One, two. He diddle diddle the cat and the fiddle, the cow jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed to see such fun, and the dish ran away with the spoon. Well done, cat, cow and dog, we'll just sit you here. And we will get ready for our first story. I forgot to mention we've got a couple of stories today to tie in with our piggy theme. And our first piggy story is Three Little Pigs. And I have Three Little Pigs with me now. Got them on my fingers. Look at this little pig. She's got a really nice pink dress. This little pig, got a yellow t-shirt. This little pig's got a pair of snazzy dungarees. But who do we have here? Mm, a naughty wolf. I think that wolf's going to be up to mischief. Shall we wait and see? So the story is called The Three Little Pigs and it's written by Mick Sharrett and illustrated by Stephen Tucker. The three little pigs liked living at home, although the house was small. But when new babies came along, there just wasn't room for them all. It's time we left, the piggies said, and built homes of our own. And as they kissed their mum goodbye, she said, be sure to fawn. The pigs set off, and in a field they saw a heap of straw. I'll build my house of that, said one. Straw's nice and quick, I'm sure. The second pig looked all around and spied a nearby wood. I built my house of sticks, he squeaked. Sticks are really good. To build a house, the third pig said. I know the thing to choose. Not straw or sticks, but solid bricks. Yes, they're the things to use. <coughs> and carefully, he laid his bricks, one by one, by one. He built his four walls, then the roof. At last, his work was done. Now close by was another house and a big bad wolf lived there. Uh -oh. His fridge was very empty. His cupboards were quite bare. Lost my hat, told you it would happen. The wolf had eaten all the food and that's why he was so big. I fancy something else, he said, and what I'd like is pig fur. He went to see his neighbour in his nice new house of straw, but the piggy saw him coming, ran inside and locked the door. Quite wise, said Wolf, if you don't let me in, then I shall huff and puff and blow your house down, which he did. And one puff was enough. It's gone. The straw wasn't very strong, was it? The piggy just escaped in time and ran round to his brother. And when the wolf knocked on the door, they clung on to each other. They shouted, Wolfie, go away. He blew. They thought he might. The house of sticks came tumbling down. Whoops, a daisy. The wolf snarled, serves you right. He chased the piggies down the lane, 
and would have caught them, but their brother shouted, in here, quick, then slammed the front door shut. Now I've got you, laughed the wolf. It won't take very long to blow this little house down too. But this time he was wrong. No matter how he huffed and puffed, the wolf just couldn't make this house fall down. The walls stood firm. They didn't even shake. Now that's workmanship. I don't give up that easily, the sly wolf growled. Oh no, I'll climb onto the roof and down the chimney I shall go. Coming to get you, called the wolf. Whether you're ready or not, he slithered down the chimney and landed in a pot, ah, which was full of salty water, onions, carrots too. The piggies cheered, hip hip hooray, the wolf is in a stew. And they have got the piggies doing a happy dance at the end. Do you think the wolf deserved to get into bother at the end? I do. I think he was a bit mean. And he was a bit horrible trying to eat the piggies. So he kind of deserved what was coming to him. Okay. I think we'll have another ride. I think we'll do Humpty Dumpty, but we'll call it Humpty Book Bug. Seeing as it's a book bug. Right, are we ready? One, two, three. Humpty Bootbug sat on a wall. Humpty Bootbug had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men managed to put Bootbug back together again. Phew! You were worried for a minute, weren't you? Bit better luck than Humpty Dumpty. Right, shall we do it again? You ready? One, two, three. Humpty Bootbug sat on a wall. Humpty Bootbug had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men managed to put Bootbug back together again. Yay! Big round of applause. Okay, we'll have a kind of piggy action now. I say kind of because it's not that piggy, it's about sausages. Don't tell the piggies. Shh! Okay, and it's called Five Fat Sausages. Okay, and it's very simple. It goes five fat sausages sizzling in a pan. Shh. The grease got hot and one went bang! And then we count down. Okay, we're ready with five. One, two, three. Five fat sausages sizzling in a pan. The grease got hot and one went bang! Now we've got four. Four fat sausages sizzling in a pan. The grease got hot and one went bang. Do you want to clap your hands and make the bang sound, book bug? Okay, ready? We're down to three. I can't count to three, it's a shame. Here we go. Three fat sausages sizzling in a pan. The grease got hot and one went bang. We're now down to two. I hope there'll be enough left for breakfast. Two fat sausages sizzling in a pan. The grease got hot and it went bang. A sausage. One fat sausage sizzling in a pan. The grease got hot and it went bang. No fat sausages frying in a pan. You'll just have to have scrambled eggs instead, I think. Okay. I think we'll have another little action. It's called Iggly Piggly Wriggly Rose. And I'll do it once before we go through it a couple of times. And it goes Iggly Piggly Wriggly Rose under your chin and between your toes. Iggly Piggly Wriggly Roo. Close your eyes and make a boo. Iggly Piggly Wriggly Wren. Down to your toes, tickle, tickle, and back again. Iggly, piggly, wriggly, wee, tickly baby on my knee. I like that one. Okay, we ready to do it again. Iggly, piggly, wriggly rose, under your chin and between your toes. Iggly, piggly, wriggly roo, close your eyes and pick a boo. Iggly, piggly, wriggly, wren, down to your toes and back again. 
Dragon. Dagley, Pegley, Dagley, Dagley, baby, on my knee. Did you enjoy that book, Bob? Yeah, I liked it when you tickled your toes. Okay, I think we'll have a little piggy bounce now. And it's called To Market, To Market. So are we ready? One, two, three. To market, to market, to buy a fat pig. Home again, home again, jiggity jig. To market, to bark it, to buy a fat hog. Home again, home again, joggity jog. So we have a pig and a hog. Okay, we're ready. One, two, three. To market, to market, to buy a fat pig. Home again, home again, jiggity jig. To market, to market, to buy a fat hog. Home again, home again, joggity jog. Ooh. I hope you're enjoying the piggy writings. We're having a lot of fun here. Okay, I think we'll have another story. And I'll just sit you here, book bug, so you can hear the story. And it's another piggy themed story. And it's called the Great Grand Plan. And it's written by Ellie Willard and illustrated by Stephen Lenton. And I think I'll need a couple of my little friends here because it features a pig and it features a wolf, another naughty wolf, goodness me. The pig had a house in the wild wildwood. It was safe, it was strong, it was snug, it was good. <gasps> Looks good so far, doesn't it? So when the bad wolf started howling and prowling and skulking and scowling and grizzling and growling, the pig said, old wolf, you can go till you're blue but you'll not break my house down, whatever you do. The wolf simply glared, then slunk slowly away. But there on the pathway, the very next day, the pig found a note that said, Top secret plot. One crossed out, Eat the three little pigs. Two, gobble Red Riding Hood's gran, nice and hot. Mm. No, cried the pig. Oh, my trusty old trotter, that stinky old flea bag, that wily old rotter. And he leapt to the wheel of his rusty old van, crying, Pig to the rescue, save that gran. I'll snatch him, I'll catch him, that wolf won't escape. But first, what I need is a super pig cape. So he dashed through the town till he came to a stall. They hadn't a cape, but they gave him a shawl. Okay. Nearly good enough. Then he leapt to the wheel of his rusty old van, crying, Big to the rescue! Save that gran! Now, I'll have to be sneaky. I might have to spy. Binoculars, yes, I should give them a try. So he dashed to the shop, and there weren't any there. But he did find some rather fine specks, the last pair. Then he leapt to the wheel of his rusty old van, crying, Big to the rescue! Save that gran! I'll swoop in that wolfie. I'll hook him, I hope. But what I need is some lovely strong rope. So he dashed to the shit city. The shops are so full and the rope was sold out. But he did find some wool. Oops, there goes my hat again. I'll get organised again the rest of the story. Then he ran to the wheel of his rusty old van, crying, Big to the rescue! Save that gran! But just as he came to the edge of the wood, he stopped most abruptly, as there the wolf stood. Red Riding Hood's granny, well, how do you do? Strangely enough, I've been searching for you. Although I admit it's quite a surprise, you've got such a strange nose and such piggy eyes. Mm. Gran, thought the pig, and he took a long look. 
and he quivered and quaked and he shivered and shook. The wolf eyed him up and snarled, mmm, nice and plump. Not old and chewy, just look at that rump. You'd taste rather rare in a butty, I bet. And he lunged at the pig. <gasps> but then... Down came Annette, just in time. And there in the wood was Red Riding Hood's gran, who cried, Think we can't catch you? You bet that we can. You wicked old wolf, you may huff, you may puff, but I'm telling you now, I have had quite enough. Then she tied up the wolf from his nose to his tail. And together they took him and dropped him in jail. Quite right. Thanks, cried the pig, but the gran said, thank you. That wolf would have minced me for grey granny stew. And linking together, they danced out a jig, the wolf-busting gran and the clever young pig. Yes, they both said, we're an excellent team. And the wolf never came there again. It would seem, okay, I have a feeling that something might be happening in the back of the picture, I guess. I think I can see a naughty wolf in disguise, but don't tell anybody. I'm sure he's learned his lesson for now. <laughs> that was another really good story where a piggy managed to foil the naughty wolf. Yes. Okay. I think we will have a little action. One of Bookbug's favourites because he gets to go to the moon. And it's called Zoom, Zoom, Zoom. Right, are we ready? One, two, three. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we'll get there very soon. If you like to take a trip, climb on board my rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Are we ready for takeoff? Five, four, three, two, one, zoom. Where did the bit go? into our bed. <laughs> right, we'll do that again. That was so much fun. At right, one, two, three. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we'll get there very soon. If you'd like to take a trip, climb on board my rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Okay, astronauts, ready for takeoff? Five. Four, three, two, one, zoom! Yep, love doing that one. Okay, I think we'll have another little tickly action. Shall we do a brew brew brinky? Now this is a quite an old Scottish one, so I'll go through it a couple of times. And it goes... Brew, brew, brinky, ee, ee, winky, nose, nose, nebby, cheek, cheek, cherry, moo, moo, merry, chin, chin, shaggy, catch a flea, catch a flea. I'll do it to myself. Okay, it goes, brew, brew, brinky, ee, ee, winky, get a good wink in there. Nose, nose, nebby, blah, 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 blah. cheek, cheek, cherry, moo, moo, merry, chin, chin, jacky, catch a flea, eee, catch a flea. One more time, one more time. Okay. Brew, brew, blinky, hello. Ee, ee, winky. Nose, nose, nebby, 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 nebby. Makes a good noise. Cheek, cheek, cherry. Moo, moo, merry. Chin, chin, tracky. Catch a flea, catch a flea. Okay. Right, shall we have one more little tickle? Okay. We'll do these are baby's fingers. One, two, three. These are baby's fingers. These are baby's toes. This is baby's tummy. Round and round it goes. 
These are baby's eyes. This is baby's nose. This is baby's tummy. Right where mommy goes. <coughs> and goes to the hat again. Okay. Do it again. One, two, three. These are baby's fingers. These are baby's toes. This is baby's tummy. Round and round it goes. These are baby's eyes. This is baby's nose. This is baby's tummy, right where mummy blows. <coughs> <laughs> I think the raspberry noise is our favourite. Okay, shall we finish off with a little cross cross? Okay, ready? One, two, three. Cross, cross, line, line. Spiders crawling up your spine. Cool breeze, tight squeeze. Now you've got the shimmery. Now we've come to the end of our video book bug. Hope you've had fun and enjoyed the piggy rhymes, actions, songs and stories. Um, there are book bug sessions on at your local library so just get, get in touch to see if you can get a space. Um, but we'll be here every week doing our video book bugs. So it's time to say goodbye. We'll sing a goodbye song. One, two, three. Goodbye babies. Goodbye babies, goodbye babies, have a lovely day, goodbye children, goodbye children, goodbye children, have a lovely day, goodbye grown-ups, goodbye grown-ups, goodbye grown-ups, have a lovely day. Have a wonderful day. Hope to see you soon. Take care. Bye.